What's good, y'all? Back with Streets. Freestyle cooking with Streets. Thanks for tuning in. You already know what it is, man. Got another great video, great recipe to share with y'all. And tonight, y'all getting the bonus, man. Y'all getting the two for one, man. Y'all getting two recipes, one video, y'all. Freestyle cooking with Streets, man. That's how we do when I'm giving out those bonuses. You know what I mean? Those bonus recipes. But we about to get it in. All right, so on the board, I got me some steak, and I got me some turkey chops. Now, these turkey chops, I had cooked some turkey chops the other night, and I had some left over. So, the reason y'all getting this bonus, because I got to use them, I got to make them. You know what I mean? So, I said, why not get the people a bonus, you know, recipe. You know what I'm saying? Ain't about nothing, okay? And with the steak, we're going to do... My style street steak bowl. We're gonna do a steak bowl, y'all. Um, you know, taco is kind of twist on it, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be a steak bowl, you know, like, like kind of like a taco bowl, fiesta bowl, or whatever, you know. That's how we're doing it, y'all. All right, so we about to get it in. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Now that I got my meat moved to the side real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and start to make a marinade. For my turkey chop, y'all. Okay, so you go ahead and get a freezer bag like the one I had. Okay, make our marinade. Okay, so first I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. Okay, I got this mushroom flavored soy sauce banging, y'all. Got it from my Asian market. Yo, the Asian market be popping, man. Whenever you want, I mean, you can go to your local market and get soy sauce and oyster sauce or any type of like Asian ingredients but if you go to an Asian market they have so many brands I mean you can get that real good stuff now, I say you can't get it from your market but you know and, and, it's, and it's cheaper than the market actually you know I got this the same price I would pay for this big one I would pay for a smaller size at the market all right so we're gonna go do tape two tablespoons All right, next, y'all, I got about, I got some stone ground Dijon mustard. I'm going to add about two tablespoons. All right, next, about tablespoon, no, about two tablespoons of ketchup. Two tablespoons of ketchup, y'all. All right, next, I got some honey. Add about a tablespoon a honey go all right next I got my herbs de Provence you know this is uh you got all the different herbs in there the basil the rosemary the thyme all those up in there y'all so I'm gonna do a tablespoon tablespoon Next, a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, y'all. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of my dry shallots. Now, I find these little gourmet uh, seasonings, like in my home goods store or Ross or TJ Maxx, but you can actually order these online. Dry shallots, they're good to have on hand if you don't have any fresh shallots. If you got some fresh shallots, you can chop them up real quick quick but since I'm only making a quick marinade I'm not going to use a fresh salad I'm just go ahead and just you know get a tablespoon of my uh, dry shallots get them up in there y'all all right next teaspoon of salt next a half teaspoon of pepper brown black pepper next tablespoon of my sriracha that's optional, but you know, I like a little bit of spice. Next, got me some garlic cloves. I got about three cloves here. I'm just gonna smash them up. Drop them in there. All right, and finally, I'm gonna go ahead and add three tablespoons of olive oil. All 
All right, y'all. Now that I got everything from my marinade all mixed in, I just take my hand and mix it up a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drop my chops in there, y'all. Okay. Got us a nice fresh marinade going on. Get our chops up in there. mixed up y'all that's what i'm talking about i can smell these flavors is popping off all right so i'm gonna go ahead and just let these chops sit and marinate while we begin to work on our steak all right all right, y'all, so the first thing I want to do with my steak is I want to go ahead and get this fat off on the side, y'all. I don't want the fat. Get the fat off the side. All right, just that, you know, just that, all those little thick pieces of fat like this. I just, I don't, I don't want that fat, all right? So now what we're basically going to do is we're going to chop our meat up. Now, this is some uh, uh, London broil, you know what I mean? The beef chuck steak, London broil, get it in the market. It's not really an expensive uh, cut piece of steak, but it's, you know, it's like four ninety nine a pound. But you can use any kind of steak you want, your favorite steak or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is the steak I'm using. So we're just going to go ahead and cut it. We're going to start to cut it in slices, and then I'm going to chop it down to smaller pieces. So we're just going to cut it down in slices like that. Okay. All right. And once we, get to, once we cut our slices like that, we're going to go ahead... And break it down to even smaller pieces, y'all. Like that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And bring y'all back. Let's do it! Alright, y'all. There we go. Got my meat all cut up. Okay, down into small pieces. Alright. Definitely got this thing popping. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put that to the side next to my marinated chops. All right, I got some garlic cloves. I got a shallot. About to cut these up. All right, y'all. About to cut these up. Real quick and get back with y'all. All right? Because I know y'all don't want to see me chopping up everything. Y'all just want to like, yo, get to the, get to the good stuff. All right, so let me go ahead and chop these up and come right back. All right, y'all, back. Got my shallots chopped up. Got my garlic chopped up, all right? So I cut up a lot of garlic because we're going to need it for our turkey chops and our steak bowl. Okay, shallots we're going to need for both also. All right? On the other side of my plate, my induction plate, I got some water boiling because we're going to need that later for our recipe too, y'all. All right, so I got my skillet heating up right now. You know how I do. I always like to get the pan real nice and hot before I get anything in. All right, so we're going to get that a minute to heat up. Get my oil ready. All right, y'all. I think my pan is nice and hot now. Go ahead and put about maybe a tablespoon, y'all. A tablespoon and a half of oil. I'm using some sunflower oil, high heat point oil, y'all. I always use the high... I always use the high heat point oil so it can handle the heat, you know what I'm saying? So it can handle all that drama. Alright, get at about a minute to get my heat going. I mean, to get my oil going. We're going to go ahead and get, 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 the, get our steak up in the uh, pan, y'all. 
All right, we still got our turkey chops on marinade, y'all. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, y'all hear that sizzle? That's how you know your pan is definitely ready to go. Alright, now I'm going to just give, since I'm using steak and not like ground beef on my bowl, I'm going to go ahead and let my steak just go ahead and do its thing, because initially it'll stick to the pan, so like if you were searing steak or anything like that, you wouldn't want to touch it for a few minutes. I'm going to do the same thing with this steak, okay? So you see I spread all the pieces out, and I'm going to let it do its thing for like two or three minutes. Before I try to stir it up, y'all. All right. Okay, and I'm also going to bring it down to a medium high, y'all. All right, y'all. I done let it ride for about five minutes before I decided to mix it up. You see how easily I can move it in the pan? That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Not sticking to my pan and nothing, man. And we basically just want to go ahead and just keep stirring this up until. Uh, the meat is no longer pink. Alright, so I got it on the medium high. doesn't take that long. This is after five minutes, y'all. So as you can see, most of the meat is already turning. Mix it up. And spread it out. All right, I'm gonna let that ride for another four minutes. Keep stirring, like I said. You just, you just gonna, we're just gonna keep going to the, to the meat is no longer pink. All right. Once we don't have no pink meat, we can move on. All right, y'all. After another four or five minutes, now you can see my meat is starting up. That's all starting to brown. Maybe some pieces here and there that's still pink, but that's cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some shallots in there. All right, and if you cut it, and if you cut enough, you just want to put about a tablespoon in there, y'all. I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic. That I freshly chopped up. Mix it all together real good, y'all. Smelling good, too. All right, so you'll notice a couple of small pieces that still, because I chopped it up nice and fine to meat, so but trust me, once it's all done, all your pieces will be nice and tender, ready to go. All right, so I'm going to let that rock for two minutes. All right, that's been about a couple of minutes. I let my garlic and shallots do their thing. Got some frozen corn here. Add about a half a cup, y'all. Half a cup of some frozen corn. I'm also going to add some black beans. I got a can of Bush's black beans. Get that all incorporated in. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it down to a medium. I'm going to turn it down to a medium, and I'm going to put a top on it and let it simmer for about five minutes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put a top on it and let it simmer for about five minutes, y'all. All right, y'all, it's been about five minutes. Let me take my top off. Okay, yeah, it's coming along real nice. All right, now, what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and put some seasoning in. You want to put some taco seasoning. Now, I got a package of taco seasoning. You can do your own taco seasoning, your homemade taco seasoning, but it's just easier to get a pack of taco seasoning, y'all, and get it on in there. So I got me some taco seasoning. I'm going to get my taco seasoning up in there. All 
And most taco seasons that you get from the store, they, they, they tell you to add like a little bit of water, but since the steak that already created the juices and all that, and from the oil that we use, we're good to go, man. All right, so I'll put a little bit of seasoning in. Let me stir this up. And the taco seasoning got all the seasoning we need. That's why we don't got to add no salt and pepper to this or nothing like that, y'all. Okay. You know, you just get the taco seasoning you want. Hot, mild, you know, whatever different taco seasoning they got. And a lot of times, y'all, when I do tacos, I do do my own taco seasoning, like my own homemade seasoning. But I always keep, like, packs of seasoning on hand when I just want to just throw it together quick for the kids or something like that. Or if we just having a taco night and just want to throw it together, you know, don't nobody want to wait for me to do the whole recipe and all that. You know, so it's always good to just have the stuff, you know, quick on hand. You know, but then there's times that when I want to share it with y'all recipes, you know, I'll show y'all how to do it from scratch. You know, do your own season, do your own flow, freestyle cooking type flow. All right, so we got our seasoning on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it back up. Let it rock out for like another three minutes, y'all. All right, we got this thing going, y'all. Freestyle cooking with streets. Let's do it. All right, y'all, let me get my top off. It's been about two, three minutes. My steak is ready to go, okay? I'm going to go ahead and get this in a bowl. Get my pan a little, 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 little quick clean. And then we're going ready to get our turkey chops, y'all. We're almost there, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting this bonus to one, two recipes, man. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the recipes. We having fun. We doing our thing, y'all. Street style, man. All right, let's do it. So we're going to get this thing up in a bowl, get a fresh, clean pan, get our skillet nice and clean, and get our turkey. We're going to get to our marinated turkey chops. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all. Got my steak up in a bowl. Show y'all real quick. Boom. Ready to go. Our steak bowls now. We go into our turkey chops. Real quick. Got my skillet cleaned out. I'm going to put about a tablespoon, y'all. Just a tablespoon. Just a little bit of oil, y'all. Because the marinade, we got some olive oil in there. We're already good to go. Alright. Got our pan nice and hot. All right, y'all. We're getting this thing. We got. We got this thing moving. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chops up in the pan, y'all. Okay, now that my pan nice and hot. Oh yeah, there go that sizzle. There you go, y'all. Now, the same thing with the steak, y'all. I'm going to let it ride for four minutes on one side without even trying to touch it, y'all. Okay? And it will easily come up and not stick to our pan, y'all. All right? So, we got our turkey chops going. We got our steak on the side. Our bowl is almost ready to go. We got our turkey chops. We got our water boiling, y'all. Now, you know, depending on, you know, you might have to, depending on how much water you put in your, your pot at the beginning, I should have said, but you know, you want to have your pot really fairly filled up because we're going to use this water for a couple of different things, but you got to stay tuned then, you know what I mean? Well, we're almost there, y'all. All right, so we're going to let this, our turkey chop fried one side, four minutes. Let's do this, y'all. All right, y'all, now I'm ready to flip my chops after four minutes. Okay, there we go. We got a nice little flow going on. Let me go ahead and turn them down to medium. All right, so we got we got some nice little uh, sear marks going on, as you can see. 
I like it. Nice dark sear marks. Turn it down to the medium, and uh, we're gonna just ride for another four minutes, y'all. All right, I let my chops rock out on the other side for a few minutes. We're going to take them on out, y'all. Oh, yeah, they got the real nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got our chops flowing, y'all. All right, so we almost done. We ain't there yet. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put that to the side. Go ahead and get a clean pan, y'all. We almost there, y'all. Let's do it. All right, y'all, back with the clean pan, ready to go. All right, go ahead and put about two tablespoons of butter up in there, y'all. All right, we almost there, y'all. I know y'all trying to, you know, when I get all these bonuses, you know, sometimes it might take me a little bit more time, you know what I mean? But this is real easy, real simple to make. I mean, it's been no time so far, y'all. You know, we had our steak going while we was marinating our chops. Okay, now we're about to finish the chops off, then we finish our bowls off, and then we get to go. Alright, so the butter is melting. Alright, now that the butter is basically melted, I'm going to go ahead and get some shallots up in there. The remainder of my shallots from earlier. My garlic. And I'm going to let this rock and roll for about two minutes, y'all. That's it. Just two minutes. Because I don't want to burn my garlic and I want my onion, uh, my shallots to be just nice and, you know, smooth, translucent like. But I don't want to burn my garlic, y'all. I want that flavor to be popping. And I got it on medium high. All right, y'all. Yeah, it's coming along. Now you want to have your oven heated up on uh, 400. I got mine on, uh, matter of fact, 425. I got mine on 425. Okay. Now, it's been about a minute or so. I'm going to go ahead and add my cream of asparagus soup. Yo, this soup, this Campbell's, great for cooking, as you see. Cream of asparagus, y'all. A lot of people use cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. We're using cream of asparagus, y'all. Give us that little bit of asparagus flavor going on. Okay. Also, going to add with that about a quarter cup of milk. All right, that's about a quarter cup of milk, y'all. I'm going to turn this down to a medium. Because I want to simmer it a little bit. Alright, and next I'm going to add some water, y'all. I'm going to add some water. You know, that's about a, you know, just a little bit of water. You know, because the, the, cause how much water, how much milk you use uh, will depend on how many chops you're cooking and all that. All right, so I'll go ahead and turn this up and bring this to a boil real fast. Okay. Then I turn it down, let it simmer for a couple of minutes. We're good to go, y'all. All right, y'all, then got it to a boil. And you know what? I'm not even going to turn it down, y'all. Freestyle cooker with street, y'all. Because you know what, this is going to go in the oven. So I'm going to get my chops right up in there. Get my chops up in there, y'all. Oh, yeah. Get that up in that creamy sauce. Boom. All right, 
So now I got to just float in the sauce, as y'all can see. Now we're going to take this whole skillet, go right into the oven, y'all. We're going to put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all. I didn't move my uh, boiling water to the side. I told y'all we was going to need this boiling water. We're keeping this thing moving, y'all. I hope y'all keeping up with me. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're going to go ahead and blanch our green beans. I got some fresh green beans right here. Okay. Go ahead and drop them in, y'all. Normally, I will cut off the tips on them. But, you know, we're, we're, we're good to go, y'all. So I'm going to leave them in there for about two minutes, y'all. Okay. Then we're going to put them in a cold water bath and shock them real crazy. All right, y'all. It's been about two minutes. You see how bright green my green beans are? So yeah, we're going to put them in our nice, I uh, got some cold water. Ice cold. We're going to get them in a cold water bath, y'all. Boom. That's how we do it with the fresh green beans, y'all. They're in the cool water bath. All right, y'all. So we're good to go. So we got our green beans up in the cold bath. We got our chops up in the oven for 15 minutes. We got our steak for our steak bowl sitting to the side. We're at the finish line, y'all. Oh, okay. hold up. I missed one. All right, we're at the finish line, y'all. All right, so... Next, I think we're going to go ahead and prepare our um, what we need for our uh, steak bowl while we're waiting for our uh, chops in the oven. We're going to go ahead and get what we need for our steak bowl ready, and we there, y'all. Let's do it, man. Appreciate y'all watching, man. Great video. Great recipes. You're getting a bonus. Let's do it, man. Let's go. Now that I got my green beans up out the uh, pot, we just shocked them, blanched them, put them in the cold bath. They ready to go. You can eat them just like this, y'all. Look. Just like that. They ready to go. Super healthy, super fresh right now. Normally, you cut off the sips, but we're good, y'all. Extra healthy, but I got my pan. We're going to add a little bit of extra flavor going on. So I'm going to go ahead and heat my pan up. All right. Now that my pan is nice and hot, a little something, something. Go ahead and add some olive oil in there. About a teaspoon, y'all. I mean, tablespoon. My bad. About a tablespoon. Oh, yeah, and I already got my pan nice and hot. My remaining garlic, I'll go ahead and get that in there. Stir that up a little bit. Now I'm going to bring it down to, I got it on high, but I'm bringing it down to a medium. Okay, I just want it on the medium. I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, green beans up in there, y'all. All right, so make sure you, your, your heat is low, y'all, like on a medium, a medium low. Because once we already shot the greens, it was already ready to go, y'all. We're just going to get the greens with a little bit of flavor for our chops. I got my uh, sea salt, my Mediterranean sea salt with herbs and spices. But you can just use regular salt, y'all. I got my herb and my Mediterranean sea salt. That's giving me that extra flavor. Y'all can get it online if y'all watch my other videos. Here we go with some black pepper. And that's it, y'all. That's it. When I got it on a medium low, I'm 
And I'm going to let this do a thing for about four or five minutes, y'all. That's it. On low, let this, the flavors just, just let the flavors get all mixed in and all that. All right. All right, y'all. That, that, that couple minutes has passed. We're good. I'm take my <clears throat> green beans up out of there. My chops is in the oven almost ready. If not ready. All right, so now what we're going to do is yeah, let me get the rest of that up in there. Got our green beans ready, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Cheating, y'all. Let me take a bite. Oh. Alright, put those to the side. Check on our chops. Get our pole popping. We're done, y'all. We're almost there, y'all. That two-on-one, man. Bonus. Let's do it. Boom. There we go with our turkey chops, y'all. Got them up out the uh, oven, ready to go. I ain't even going to touch them. I'm going to just let them rest before I plate it up with my green beans, y'all. All right? So I'm just letting it rest for a second, okay? And we're going to finish our bowl. So we're going to let's finish our steak bowl, you know, from our two-on-one. And we're going to be there, y'all. All right? Man, y'all know this is this is dope video, man. Glad y'all watching, man. This is, this is where it's hitting at, okay? Let's do it. So we're going to let this rest for a few minutes. Finish our bowl up. All right, y'all. Now it's time to create the bowl for our steak bowl. So I got a couple of tortillas down packed, ready to go. All right, put a little bit of olive oil on each. Go ahead and rub it in. All right, so we got both pieces together. A little bit more olive oil in there. Now I got my oven at 375. Uh, All right, oven at 375. All right, and we're going to put this in here for 20 minutes. All right, because that's all I got. I got this just round bacon dish. Try to make my bowl, my tortilla bowl. We should be good to go with that. That's 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 that's, that's good to go. All right, and I gotta make a couple of these, but we're gonna do one so we can get this video done, so that y'all can get to the finish line. All right, so we I got the oven on, uh, three seventy five. I'm gonna get this in there for about twenty minutes. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all, now that I got my bowl in the oven, okay, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my toppings. All right, I already then chopped up some lettuce, so I got that already to the side. Uh, got me an uh, avocado. I'm going on on that, y'all. Basically, you just going to cut around because you got that pit in the middle, y'all. Cut all the way around. Boom. I got that pit in the middle. It's nice. Twist that right on out. Y'all see that? Boom. Right on out. Real easy. All right. So now I'm going to take a spoon. Go around the edges of the skin. There we go, y'all. Go. Boom. All right. I'm going to do the other one. All right, y'all. So I got the skins off my avocados, and I'm just going to go ahead and chop them up. Boom. 
good enough for me. No nothing fancy, y'all. Just want to top them up, chop them up. Won't be our topping. You know, and I got up, you know, this is one avocado was cool because I'm making more than one bowl. But like I said, I'm only going to do the one bowl for the sake of the video so we can, you know, I can get y'all out of here. You know what I'm saying? With a great recipe that y'all probably just can't wait to get to the uh, kitchen and make. You feel me? Let's do it. All right, y'all. Got more tortilla bowl out, out of the uh, oven, out of my baking dish. And you can see, got the bowl ready to go. Okay. And honestly, y'all, I should have I, I used the tortillas that I already had in the fridge. But uh, normally, you might want to have, if you want it deeper than this, you want to get a bigger tortilla. You can still have the same size bowl that I have. But, you know, if you're doing it like me, where you just use what you got in the kitchen, like a bowl. If you want it deeper than this, because this is not that, it's not real deep. This is like kind of small because I use small tortillas. But you get the big tortillas, you know, bigger tortillas, and that'll give you a little bit more depth. Okay? But right now, I had to use what I had. But we got the nice bowl, y'all. Nice, crispy. Let's do this, y'all. All right? So I'm going to let that cool for a couple of minutes. All right, y'all, to let my bowl cool down. Okay, ready to go. Let's go ahead and get our lettuce up in the bowl. And remember what I said about a deeper bowl, y'all. These are small tortillas, so, but I mean, like I said, I'm making a, a few of them. So, you know, if you're doing this like for the kids or something like that, or you have like a little uh, kind of Mexican dinner or something like that, or a taco flow, these is always a good and but like i said you get the bigger tortillas that'll give you a more deeper flow where you can put a lot more filling and everything going on y'all okay so we got our lettuce up in there all right next i'm gonna add i'm gonna add some lime juice okay just a few drops because it's not that big but you know i always keep you know like the uh, lime juice in a bottle on hand when I don't have no fresh limes. But you get some fresh limes, you know, you cut half your lime, squeeze it on over. All right, next, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Just a pinch for these small tortillas. Next, some black pepper. Like I said, I like that coarse ground. See how you can see that pepper, that coarse ground, restaurant style pepper. All right, next, I'm going to get my steak. All right, with my beans, my corn. Oh, yeah, y'all, look at that. All day, every day. That's what I'm saying, y'all. When y'all get those bigger tortillas, y'all get that deeper bowl. Can really get the filling pop. All right. All right, y'all. Next, I done already. I bought some salsa. I'm ready for the market. You can make your uh, homemade salsa, which is just the cilantro, you know, salt, pepper, tomato, onion. That's the basic. Make your salsa. Okay, you can add all your extra whatever you want to add to it. This has like jalapenos, onions, it's made everything. So I just bought it, you know, because I want my video to be quick. Go ahead and add my salsa up on there, y'all. You you are you kind of can add whatever kind of toppings you like, okay? Whatever toppings you like on your tacos or anything like that is your choice. All right, next, I'm going to add some of my avocado that I chopped up. Let's get the avocado up there. Yeah. All right. Next, I got some sour cream here. That's a sour cream, y'all. You know, squeeze some sour cream up on there. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. All right. Next, 
I'm going to add some cheese. Like I said, you also like topping the taco with your your, 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 your favorite toppings. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of sriracha on top of mine, y'all. That's how I like mine. This is optional. You don't have to do it, though. Boom. All right, y'all. And there go my little taco bowl. My steak bowl. I said taco bowl. There go my steak bowl, y'all. You feel me? All right. So now we're going to get our... Uh, I told y'all, I'm getting this two for one, man. So we're going to go ahead... And we're going to get our turkey chops that we had sitting all this time and that sauce. We're going to get that plated up, too. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Got my green beans. We'll go ahead and lay these down on the plate. Boom, boom. Let's do this, y'all. Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get one of my turkey chops. Lay right on top, y'all. Let me hold up. Let me get some of that sauce. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, man. We got, our, we got our turkey chops on our green beans. Ready to go, y'all. Got our taco, I mean, our steak bowl. There, why do I keep saying taco, y'all? Because, you know, I'm using the taco ingredients. That's why. You know what I'm saying? Instead of the ground beef, I'm using steak. All right? So there we go, y'all. There we go. All day, every day, man. Turkey chops, y'all. That's how we doing it. Got our uh, taco. Uh, Got our steak bowl. That's how we doing it, man. All right, y'all. So try this recipe out, man. Y'all got a two for one, man. I get y'all two for one. Freestyle cooking with streets, man. That's how we do. Appreciate y'all watching the video, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, please subscribe, share, like, hit that notification for more new, fresh videos. We're going to keep it coming, y'all. You feel me? Look at this, man. Ready to cut into that right now, y'all. You feel me? All right, so to the next vid, holla, holla.